So I am the marketing manager and graphic designer for Perpetual. Um, I'm responsible for the creation of social media posts and videos, the creation of the website, and all graphic documents, including our portfolios, prospectuses, and our trade display. So I'm the manufacturing and testing engineer of Perpetual. So I've found it's really helped with my time management. So at the beginning, of the competition, everything was everywhere. Wheels were flying everywhere on the car. But at the end, um, we went more with our time structure. So we had a Gantt chart that we followed a lot more precisely. I think the learning opportunity was incredible. I didn't realise how much I was going to learn. I started with a separate team in regionals and for them I was the design engineer. I learned all about the on shape and the sim scale and the creation of the car and now I've moved into graphic design so I've really learnt a lot from my different roles. One of the biggest challenges for me was I challenged myself with uh, coding our own website and I've never done that before so it was a big learning curve learning all the HTML and all the different coding types and uh, gave us a lot more freedom for what we put on our website and for all of our graphics and information. So we found that our car was prone to a lot of breakages so we were trying to really push the limits on our car design but we found through the competitions that doing that led to the car being slower than what it would have been if we hadn't have um, pushed those regulations. So for the final car, we still pushed the regulations, but we were definitely set with well within the regulations so that there was a lot more freedom for the manufacturing person, me, to um, make the car to a higher quality. We mainly tested factors in the design. So the main one we tested was our tether line guide placement, just to see which distance would lead to the most stable car launch. And during this, we found that the wider the distance between the tetherline guides, the more sturdy and sound the um, car would launch. But during that process, we also found out things that we weren't expecting, like a well-placed wheels works a lot better in making sure the car launched straight. So at first, we actually thought of uh, Infinity as as a um, name idea, but that is well used and less recognisable and perpetual as a word was similar definition. And then we really wanted to be able to tie it into the F1 in schools and F1 theme. And petrol uh, obviously powers F1 cars and that's how we came up with our name, Per Petrol. I found that I'm really in love with um, engineering uh, with new technologies and new techniques because I found that using CAM softwares and CAD softwares, using all the new features that they keep putting into them has really just been a fun opportunity and I've really enjoyed it. In terms of a career opportunity, I think that something focused in a new technology field would be interesting because it just opens up a whole new world that hasn't been thought of before until that technology popped into existence. Well, before the competition, um, marketing and graphics wasn't even a career like option for me. I'd never even considered it, uh, but now it's a career that I'm really interested in pursuing. I would recommend it to students that are willing to put time in to the process of doing F1 in schools and also patient students, because you learn a lot about being patient with other team members and patient with yourself to finish off difficult tasks. So I really love maths and science in that, um, that area. I'm really interested in space and I'd, I'd still love to do, have a job in those careers, but I also am really interested in graphics and marketing and I think it'd be a great opportunity to pursue both.